started. Uh, this is Tuesday, January 16th. Annie, would you be so kind as to do roll call for us? Yes, I got to get signed in here real quick. Are you guys getting oh, glasses? But son, kind of. It's an unrecognizable force. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure it's what that is. This is kind of what you're It's like a light. Yeah, should we leave it? Yeah. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> Slotnik can move his face, but <laughs> <laughs> on mine we have Andrew Torney, Cheryl Hartman, Christina Dewar, uh, Alicia Beckholt. I know I say that wrong. Sorry, Alicia. Uh, Jackson Lee, Emily Durbin, Kyla Leonard, M. Katz. And in 206, we have Commissioners Strohmeyer, Slotnick, and Biro, and Hughes, Kurt Falkenberry, John Hart, Emmy Bristow, Allison France, um, myself, Annie Kathy, <laughs> Carrie Powers, and we have Maddie Scott. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Is there any public comment on items not on today's agenda? Seeing none, we have a consent agenda here today with eight items. Would anyone like to pull anything off of that to discuss? Or I would entertain an enthusiastic motion. Enthusiastic yeah. motion to approve the agenda. I'll second that. Any further discussion or public comment on the consent agenda today? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. On to the action items, which also has eight items, beginning with... Chris, a resolution calling for an election on the question of conducting a local government review and establishing a study commission to do some. Commissioners, thanks. Uh, as you might recall, last week we opened the public comment period on that. To date, we have received zero public comment wow. on, <laughs> on this. Uh, both statutorily and in this case in the Montana Constitution, you are required to place this question on the ballot every 10 years. Uh, so the question is in compliance. It's been reviewed by the county attorney's office, and I'm requesting you adopt the resolution today that will place it on the June uh, election in 2024. I would move we place this resolution on the ballot in June. Because we have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, last chance for anyone to offer public comment. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That will be available for folks to cast their ballot. And Chris, the, the dollar cost will also be on the ballot. Yes, the cost is included in the election question. When and when do we know what? It's two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Approximately one half of a mil. Change to change to one slash two. <laughs> okay. Item number two, Kyla. Oh, our favorite bylaws. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dave's favorite. <laughs> yes. Um, hi, commissioners. The Bonner Milltown Community Council has reviewed the recent revision to the bylaws, which was fall of 2023. They had no edits or major changes. They just filled in the blanks with their council and their boundaries. Go to be go nice. nice. Yep. Yeah, non-controversial. I, I, I second that. All right. <laughs> there we go. Um, there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion on the uh, revised bylaws. Seeing none, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Excellent. Thanks, Kyla. And number three, Allison, update to um, the ever pop popular policy number 2015-2. Uh, the one everyone wants. It is the one everyone wants. <laughs> So yes, this is just an update to the communications policy, which was first adopted in 2015, and it uh, just outlines protocols and procedures for staff to follow mainly when it comes to external communications. So I'll just give you a quick summary of the updates included. Um, it's removing language on website management because we're going to develop a separate website policy. It updates social media management protocols and security requirements. It updates guidance on moderating social media comments. It adds guidance on third-party access to county social media accounts. And it adds guidance on photos and videos, including commercial versus editorial use. Happy to answer any questions. Oh, what's an exciting example of an update? Someone's done such and such, and now they can't 
but they should do it this way. Well, I guess I have the, the most significant one is probably just the guidance on social media and comment moderation, which essentially we don't moderate comments because the government agency is subject to the first amendment. So the guidance is don't delete your high comments. Great. That's good. Thanks. Do we allow comments? So, yes, for the most part, we typically turn them off on our Facebook page just because we've had some issues with people making comments about staff members that we aren't able to do anything about after the fact. So on our Facebook page, we generally turn off comments, but on our other social media platforms, we generally keep them on. Okay, thanks. <laughs> there was the juicy item. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, I would um, move that we approve. Uh, update to the policy 2015-02. Awesome. Further discussion or public comment? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Maddie, yeah, it looks like you're fully in the saddle here with a bunch of uh, appointments. So uh, <laughs> take us through what we, uh, we have here, beginning with, it looks like the health board. Yep, so I'm just going to just kind of speak on the first one and then she'll kind of take over from there. Oh, okay. So this is just a reappoint. All of these that we have left on the agenda today are just reappointing to boards that we just missed doing in December. We're playing catch up and learning. And so all of these are standing members and we're just reappoint reappointing new terms that they've all sent in their letters. To if you want to take them all at once, let's, let's do that. Let's just roll oh, through we're, them all. We're like robbing we're Maddie of her. her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Maddie, Maddie can describe the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's for the health board, Dan Cordy, um, the Larchmont Golf Course, Max Good, Dave Miller, Brad Pfeiffer, um, the Historical Museum Board, Jim McDonald, uh, Lawrence Carlton Cemetery Board, Brad Porch. And the Open Land Citizen Advisory Committee, Mark. What do you, you all think? Uh, I move to reappoint all these people. Second. Don't want to catch them up to do so. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a bunch more coming up on yes. Thursday also. Excellent. Uh, any further discussion or public comment on reappointing these individuals to these various boards? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Good work, Maddie. <laughs> Rolling that out. We have no correspondence, no events, nothing to sign. Anything else, anyone? Hey. Okay. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, thanks for joining us, Kelly. I see you uh, lurking out there. Um, all right. We'll be done today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.